Objective 8, know what electromagnetic radiation is and be able to identify relative wavelength. For example, ultraviolet is short compared to infrared or radio waves. So electromagnetic radiation is a variety of different wavelengths and therefore frequencies. of energy that all travel at the speed of light. So why do we call it the speed of light? Because light is the one we can see visible light. So it includes visible light. So when Einstein came up with the idea of speed of light, he didn't realize it applied to all these other types of electromagnetic radiation. So Pretty much any type of energy you can think of other than sound is going to fall into the electromagnetic radiation. TV waves, uh, radio waves, microwaves, all those different waves that we use for communication, those are all very long wavelengths. So um, radio, TV, microwave, those are all longer, longer waves, so lower frequency and energy, which also means these are pretty low risk types of radiation. And then kind of in the middle, the ones that we can see going from longer to shorter are infrared is right before the visible. The visible spectrum we can see, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And then the ultraviolet, or UV, that we can't see. So these are getting to be shorter waves with higher frequency and more energy. And with more energy comes more risk, and especially as we get to ultraviolet. There we start seeing some harm being done by ultraviolet rays to humans. And then X-ray and cosmic rays are really short. So they have the highest frequencies. and the most energy, and along with that, the greatest risk. So what is the risk factor with these higher energy waves? Well, the problem is that they have so much energy that when they hit your skin, they not only hit it and damage the skin surface, but they also could penetrate the skin, and they can actually alter the cell structure. And that's when we start seeing some damage and some issues, such as cancers and stuff.